Thanks for tuning in to my brand new Minecraft series. After a long hiatus, I'm ready to jump into more blocky action with 101 new ideas. Thanks for rocking with me all year long and enjoy the series. So for these here uh, spiders, spiders appear kind of wherever. Uh, they are very easy to spot. They are both uh, underground and above ground here, so it's not going to be too difficult to find them, hopefully. Uh, they are obviously black spiders, so they are going to be hopefully easy to find amongst the uh, tundra here. So the sheep is alive, the, the pig is alive, so is a cow, uh, the rabbits, everything's fine. So I did see the illager before, I don't know if that actually made it to this video or that I ended up editing it out by accident, but an illager was actually inside of there. So I guess all the mobs are kind of messed up because they should not be spawning inside of that properly lit area there. So I don't know. Um, and that way, after we do the, or rather find the string, because we don't have any string on us. Actually, no, we don't need to find a spider. What am I talking about? We don't need to find a spider. We have ourselves... A source for string right now because what comes when you have a a string all together in like a bundle that was not a good transition to the thought I wanted to portray but basically if you shear a sheep you can translate that wool into a uh, string so that's what I'm gonna do I don't have any more iron on me great so you need to make a pair of shears which involves two pieces of iron of course, so let's get out of here. And how did I run out of hunger so quickly, dude? I feel like that's something they've definitely changed about Minecraft over the years. Like, they made it so you ha you run out of hunger, like, very quickly. I know I'm, like, running around and stuff, but I feel like hunger has not been that, that important of a thing, I guess. It just hasn't, I don't know. It's weird. But, okay, so shears, get these two, bang, there we go. Okay, so now we should be equipped for the bees next time. So, just to prove my point here, dunk probably should make a, a bit of an easier way to get from point A to point B there. But, you know, that point A to point B. Hey, get it? B-E-E-B. -E -E -B, hey. Are we going to get a new chicken out of here? Let's see. Survey says. Nope. Sorry, chicken. That doesn't actually damage the chicken, by the way. That doesn't hurt him in any way. That's just... uh how it is there so okay and you snippity snip there we go we got three of those then from that uh, i thought we could no can we really not hold on wait 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 string really no oh it's cobwebs i'm an idiot uh okay so we still gotta find uh spiders yay brian's a dummy hey you probably thought that whole time like brian what are you talking about you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, I was a bit more optimistic there. Okay, so let me find some uh, some spiders here. Or at least wait till night. Uh, can I wait till nighttime? No, I can't. No. All right, I'll, I'll find them. You know what these glasses do? They make me look like I have my life together. It's got this, like, professional air about it. I don't know why, but anyways... I actually just waited until it was nighttime because there's clearly no way that I'm going to find any, like, actual, you know, spiders out in the wild during the, uh, the daytime. So I figure, you know, tonight would be the best time to try to make that happen here. And if I just had a shield, I could actually just destroy these guys with one shot. But it just so happens that I still don't. I didn't make a new one, I should say. And, uh, you know, it's just easier to do it this way. So... You know, battling these guys on the ocean or the frozen, you know, tundra here, not the smartest idea. And I'm going to die still. So you know what? It's all gravy. It's all good. I'm going to heal up here and avoid all these guys. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. I'm aiming still for just spiders. Where are the spiders? Maybe they're lurking about here. Uh, and luckily, no restrictions on food this time around. So I'm not going to die. Hopefully. But we already have some armor broken, so that's just peachy. So, wait. Before, remember, right? There was uh, that containment area for the, the bunnies. Well, the bunnies escaped from that containment area. I don't know what uh, what the deal is with them now, but whatever. 
All right, you're going to go right in there. You're going to stay in there. Cool? Cool. Okay. I need to find spiders. So let's go to the woods and try to find some spiders because I don't want to deal with these skeletons. They are not what I'm after, even though bone meal does sound pretty good right about now to heal up all the crops and do all that. But, you know, this is more my speed over toward this way. So, cool. All right, there's a spider. So spiders drop um, string. And so do cobwebs, but cobwebs are a lot harder to find, uh, at least right now. There we go. That's the string we're looking for. Cool. So two string. Uh, let's get rid of the dirt just because. Um, cobwebs are found in strongholds, which are these big elaborate... not mi They're mines, not mazes. They're more mines that uh, have some secrets inside of them. They may have some goodies. They may not. Uh, but they're basically, yeah, very complex uh, pathway systems. So... That's where you can usually find cobwebs really easily, but we haven't encountered one of those yet. Uh, we probably will eventually, just uh, not right now. So I'm going to eat more, and hopefully this creeper doesn't kill me. And no, it won't. Cool. I think even with me having uh, full iron armor, it shouldn't kill me in one shot. I don't think so. I think I can withstand at least one explosion from them. Maybe at full, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so that's four. So four makes us one lead. We need two at least to go after um, those bees, which also we need multiple leads for, you know, other stuff as well. Like these skeletons I can deal with. These are fine. They're obnoxious still, but nowhere near as obnoxious as the ones that make you slow down. Those not wither skeletons. I don't know what you'd call them, but there is a, a specific term for them. So cool. That's five. Is there another one? No, not that I hear. Okay, cool. Luckily, yeah, the spider's uh, definitely turning up around here. And I really uh, made it more difficult for myself for having a... Uh, okay. Oh, that worked out. Nice. Um, I made it more difficult for myself putting the house on the water or, like, the, the tundra where there was, like, a uh, an entire area where those wither skeletons or whatever you want to call them appear. It just it works out amazingly so that those are pretty much the only enemies that appear over in that region. So it's just great. Okay, so still five there. We're looking for eight. Eight is the magic number. That way we can make two leads out of the two slime balls we have currently. So there's a chicken there. Not that we need another chicken. At least it gives me an, uh, an opportunity to explore around here. You know, I can actually see what the area is like. I do have a relative idea of uh, where I need to be. so Or where I'm going, I should say. The, uh, the town is right over toward that way. More where the... Uh, the density of the forest lies, so... And it kind of depends on, uh... Just what they randomly drop for the spiders. It could be either be, you know, one string or none. It just really depends. Um, let's see. Just walk this way, maybe. That'll help. Okay. Or you can just fight each other. That's great. Nice. Just keep on doing that. And there we go. Cool. Take this. You're gonna hit me with that again. Cool. At least you get a ton of enchanted bow if you really want that. So, power two, power one. Well, let's get rid of power one. We don't need power one. That's for darn tune. Oh, Mr. Spiders. Spin the web, Miss Charlotte's Web. A fantastic cartoon from what I remember. You know, I watched it as a kid many, many moon ago. It, uh, it's kind of like an itsy-bitsy spider, sort of a deal, kind of, but not really, you know? It's, it's actually, yeah, Char Charlotte's Web involves a pig, though. It's not, there's a focus on the spider, but it's more so about the pig, right? Uh, the pig has a lot more to do with it than I think people, rec you know, might realize at first. Maybe that's more the case, but yeah. All right, enough about Charlotte's Web, something I don't have a lot of experience dealing with. As of recently, at least. A lot of nursery... Is that... I can't tell if there's a spider or if that's a skeleton. We st that's definitely a spider. Where? In the trees? Where? Or it's No, that's a skeleton. Okay. I'm really trying to hone in and figure out what is where, but it's not really working out. Okay. And I mean, I might not need two bees in order to actually get them to do what I wanted. I mean, I don't think bees just spawn out of themselves, kind of like chicken do. 
So maybe getting two is going to be the ideal play there. But I don't know if there's actually a restriction on the biomes and whatnot. Maybe, like, because they are in the flower biome, they can't survive in this biome? I don't know. I mean, they definitely can't in real life. That's for sure. Oh, there you go. Hi. Good to see you. Not really. Cool. Okay. So, I'm almost tempted to skip ahead to find another spider. I feel like that's cheating or just not interesting, but I haven't found a spider, dude. I just can't seem to find one more. And I don't know what the render distance on mobs and stuff is, but I'm not seeing any in the distance as well. So, I might be here for a hot minute. For like a flaming hot minute. So let me um, skip ahead till I find enough, I guess. Right? Yeah. So what I'm going to bank on, because I didn't find any more spiders, is that on the way to find the bees, I'm going to get another night cycle where I can actually get another spider defeated and build another lead. So let me show you how to actually build one of those. So... And what I'll do is I'll get more food and stock up. And then the next part of the episode will be going to where the bees were. I'll show you the actual way. I'll fast forward and show you the actual way where I went. And then bring them back and then do the whole thing. So, I've got the two slime balls right here. Uh, the lead should be... Da -da 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 L E A. Nope. Can you not build it? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. I was going to say, if you can't build one, I'd be very upset. You get two. You get two leads. You get two leads every time you build one. Oh, boy. Great. Thank you. Thank you. We don't need another one. We just need two. We just need the two. Fan-freaking-tastic. I'm going to cook a lot of these potatoes. I'm going to harvest more wheat. And we're going to go, go get us some bees. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. Exactly. I'll see you again next time for more Minecraft where we're going to get some bees. We're going to get bees. I have two leads, which should be enough to bring the bees home into here. So let me real quick uh, go and actually make a side structure. Now that I'm thinking of it. Uh, I don't think the bees are actually going to hurt any animals or anything like that. But just for the sake of making a different environment for the bees, uh, I'm going to make a small separate room where the bees can be and be bees. So, yeah, because they're going to have a whole greenhouse. I think I'm going to do a greenhouse eventually, which will be relatively easy to do considering you can make glass window panes, which actually are fairly... Uh, effective when making structures and whatnot it's just like it's more effort to make it all out of glass blocks than to make it out of the glass panes because you get 16 glass pa panes for every I think four glass blocks so yeah uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a thing here so let's see I want to make this structure I'm gonna pop this bad boy this bad Larry's gonna go right over here cool Okay, so the, it does, the bees don't need a lot of room. They really, honestly, just don't need a lot of room. I'm going to place this right along here, okay? And it doesn't need to be that tall or anything. Uh, it's just going to be just enough that they can be contained within here for the time being. For the time being. Get it? Haha, -ha, cool. Uh, I don't know if I can keep them on the lead or anything like that. Like, I don't know if you can put the lead down. I think you can, actually. I think that's actually a thing. Like, you can place down a few leads on, like, a fence post or something like that. Kind of like how you can do that for a horse, kind of, in, like, video games in general and whatnot. I'm going to make a stone pickaxe real quick. Uh, do I have any more wood? I have two sticks, which is good. Uh, let's see. We'll get this out of here. Give me one of these. And then we'll be very much on our way. So a lot of the potatoes, a lot of the tapatoes I had over there. I went ahead and cooked a bunch of them. That way I can restore hunger. So let's see how much it does. It restores two, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. That's fine. So not as much as I would hope, obviously. Uh, you know, cooking up cow and pig and whatnot definitely does increase more uh, hunger or alleviates more hunger. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of those animals to spare. So again, I'm not doing an intentionally like a vegan run or anything like that. But I don't want to have 
animals mass produce just for the sake of killing them, you know, just to eat them when we have plenty of wheat and whatnot to work with, at least for right now. But, uh, you know, I do have steak on uh, Christmas Eve because it is that good. So just so we're all on the same page here, just so, yeah, I can profo profoundly express my love for uh, steak when it does happen. Usually I don't have it. But when it does happen, it does happen, and it's great. So let's uh, patch this all up here. So, yeah, just a, a small little containment area. Nothing too crazy. I know the heights are different. Do I care? Uh, not at the moment. So let's just go with that. And I'll make, you know, I'll make a, uh, a door as well. I don't have to go downstairs to do that. There we go. Okay. And then I probably have more doors uh, somewhere else, but whatever. Boom. Cool. Cool. Okay, I should make a... You know what? We don't need to have a, uh, a a window for them for now. For now. It's just a it's just a small, small little area. Let's get Papa Torch in there just so they're all... You know, no monsters spawn in here. We don't need any of that nonsense around the house. Okay, so let me show you the way that uh, is toward the, uh, the, the bees. The, as far as I know, they are back over this way. So I kind of placed torches as I went along here. Uh, hopefully I didn't make it too confusing for a future Brian, which is now me, Brian, on where to find everything. Uh, I may get a little confused eventually on terms of like where to go, but I'm going to hopefully do my best and, uh, you know, put my best foot forward and uh, see exactly what happens here. So I think I went over to the town over there first because I don't know. That's fine. You can keep doing that. Um... Yeah, I think I went to this town and then uh, found the torch way there. So, yeah, I'm actually going to fast forward. It's going to be super quick for you. Uh, not as super quick for me, but uh, hopefully we'll find some spiders. Well, we don't need spiders anymore, actually. Let's just find the bees. There's more kitties. Hello, kitties. I wish I could take you with me, but not right now. I got other stuff to do. I got to get the bees. go so there they are there's a bunch of bees over here i believe this is the same area we were at before it looks to be there was a big sunflower field right where the bees were which this isn't a big sunflower field so oh yeah it is okay cool so this is where i was at before and i told you it wasn't me like finding a random like way off in the distance place it was actually fairly nearby so there you go so, uh, step number one is to potentially grab some honey out of here. So, let me pull up the, uh, the bees in Minecraft uh, wiki again. And again, they're not going to hurt you at all as long as you're standing there and you're not, you know, provoking them. So, we'll pull this up here. Okay, cool. So, um, the bee housing lives together in colonies. They take a beehive. It's enough space there. 
A break in the hive will release all the bees. If a beehive containing bees is harvested using a tool enchanted with silk touch, the bees will be kept along with their respective data in the hive when placed, they can exit it again. So if I had something with silk touch, I could actually harvest the bees with them inside of there. That's actually pretty sweet. It's a baby cow over there. Okay, so there are no bees inside of here, or bees around here. So I'm not going to go and try to mess with it here. I don't have any uh, glass on me. So let me get some glass bottles real quick. That way I can actually harvest some honey out of here. Because I think that would be pretty cool to have. We can see how much hunger that can actually restore. So I should have brought it with me. Oops. But uh, let me see if there's any sand around here. And I'll let you know how much it, uh, you know, like what to do. All right, cool. We got glass bottle here. So ideally, like this has a little honey, like, identicator, uh, identicator, identification on there. So... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so what I should have done was smoke it out first, then go for the honey. So that's a honey bottle right there. So that's pretty cool. So that's what you should do. Now, the honeys, the honeybees are a little ticked off that I did that. It's not too big of a deal. But what I should do is is make them friendly first. So... I have the sunflowers here. They apparently love the sunflowers, which we have seen before. Um, it is nighttime now, so that's not great. Let me try to pop this one on a lead and just see what happens here. So, hey, buddy. Oh, come on. There we go. You want to come with me? Yeah, so they just follow me. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Wait, what? Hello? You're after me too? Bro, stop. Relax. Okay. Calm down. Stop it. Okay? Cool. So, it died while on the lead? Interesting. Okay. Let me kill this Enderman real quick. Because I can. So, plot twist. This is how you go after an Enderman right here. You have to have a two-block radius, like, defense mechanism like this. This is how I've seen people do it. Uh, you need to have more stuff to it, but yeah. Come on. Nope. There we go. It's supposed to defend you, kind of, but not really. Nope. Come on. There we go. Nice. Ooh, that's an ender pearl. Okay, cool. So that'll be good for going to the end eventually. All right, well, let's try this again. You're on a lead, right? Now, is it if I, is it if I go too far? I want to know why that one just randomly up and died. I don't see any reason why it died. Because this one is not dying. So, hey, I don't know, man. All right. Well, if I run, what happens? You're there, and you follow me. Okay. So if I have two bees over here, right? Give me another bee, right? Bam. Okay, so there's two. So these two, I'm wrangling these two bees right here, right? And they're good. Like... Is it because that one stung me? Because that does happen to, that actually does happen to bees. Bees, when they sting you, after they sting you, they die. That is an actual thing. So maybe it had to do with that one stinging me in particular. I don't know. But here are the two bees. I'm going to go back to the house with these two. It's daytime, so I should be okay. I have all these here, these baked potatoes. So... I guess I'll find out afterward how much the honey actually heals me. But yeah, let me go back over to the house. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so <clears throat> they're not dying while in the snowy weather, which is good, right? I definitely don't want them to do that. There's a much more tedious process than you might think getting them all the way over here and making sure that they're still following behind. And not getting detached, because apparently that is a thing. So, cool. I definitely don't want them to fall asleep via that smoke, either. So let me get these two indoors here. And I don't know how else I can get a, you know, a hive. Maybe that uh, is a thing these two can solve. I don't know. Maybe I have to go and get a hive eventually. Uh, who knows? So let me uh, shut the door. And then take them off the lead. And then now the two bees are in here, 
So we have bees. So let's get these two together. Bang, there we go. And then all of a sudden, the bee's the bee. And there's a third bee. So cool. If I need to go and get a hive, I'll go get the hive. I'll damage it out. Or maybe in the next episode, we can work to actually get silk touch be a thing. That'd be pretty sweet, I think. So we can observe the bees in here. The bees are alive. They are fine, which is good. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot longer than I thought. So I'm going to end this one off here. I need to figure out how to make an anvil. I forgot how to make that. I think it requires just a ton of iron, which we do have. So... Uh, let me look up, actually, right now, uh, anvil. Okay, that requires three iron blocks. Okay, well, I think I have that, actually. Uh, where did it go? Is it upstairs? Because I have 20 iron... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So, hold on. Let's make the iron blocks first, okay? Let's go with... I can make two blocks of iron. Okay, so I am down a block, and then I need... What? Let me see. Anvil. Yeah, so I'm down a block and then two more ingots. Swell. I might go and get that myself. That way we can actually get the anvil, but I don't know what we're going to do next. Uh, maybe I'll go back and get another... Um, get the anvil and then enchant. That'll probably be what we do next. I don't know. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Brixel Brian. We have the bees, and I'll see you again next time. Peace out. Bye.